The global soap market is nearly $50 billion, with around 150 million tons of soap and detergents consumed each year. That's a lot of soap passing through homes, hotels, hospitals, and factories every single day. The process that gets it there is an amazing mix of history, chemistry, and modern machinery. And we will uncover it all here at The Process World. The Ancient Origins Soap might feel like a modern convenience, but it's actually one of the oldest inventions in human history. The very first evidence of soap making dates back over 4,000 years to ancient Mesopotamia, where people discovered that mixing fats with ash made a substance that could clean wool and cloth. It wasn't fancy or scented, but it worked. And that simple discovery kicked off centuries of soap evolution. In ancient Egypt, soap-like materials were used for washing and treating skin conditions. Even the Romans got into the game, developing their own soap formulas as part of their famous public baths. By the Middle Ages, soap making had become an established craft in places like Marseille and Castile, where olive oil became a key ingredient for high quality soap. Fast forward to the 19th century and the Industrial Revolution changed everything. Soap was no longer a small scale product made in workshops. Factories started producing soap in huge quantities, bringing it to the masses. Brands like Pears and Sunlight Soap emerged during this time, and soap became essential for cleanliness and hygiene, not just a luxury. But how exactly is it made? Well, before we get into that, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing videos like this one. Now, moving on. First, before a single soap bar can be made, factories need the right mix of ingredients, and this is where it all begins. The most important part of any soap is the fat or oil. These days, soap factories often use vegetable oils like palm oil, coconut oil, or soybean oil. Sometimes animal fats, known as tallow, are used too, depending on the type of soap being made. Each oil brings its own qualities. Coconut oil helps soap lather beautifully, while palm oil gives a firm, long-lasting bar. Then comes the key ingredient that makes everything work, the alkali. For solid bar soaps, factories use sodium hydroxide, which is often called caustic soda or lye. For liquid soaps, it's potassium hydroxide. Factories also add all kinds of extras to make soap more appealing. Fragrances to give it that fresh scent, colors to make it look nice, and moisturizers like shea butter or glycerin to make it gentle on the skin. Exfoliants like oats or tiny scrub particles can also be mixed in for specialty soaps. It's this careful selection of raw materials that gives every soap bar its own feel, scent, and character, whether it's a simple household soap or a luxury brand. Once the raw ingredients arrive at the factory, it's not like they just throw everything straight into machines. There's a lot of preparation that happens first to make sure the soap comes out perfect every time. Preparations before factory production. You see, the oils and fats go through careful checks to confirm their quality. Factories test for things like purity and consistency because any variation could affect how the soap reacts and feels. The same level of care goes into checking the alkali. It has to be just right so the chemical reaction works smoothly. Then it's time for weighing and measuring. Soap factories follow exact recipes that control how much of each ingredient goes into a batch, whether it's a small artisan production or a huge industrial line. These measurements have to be precise so the final soap bars are consistent in quality, size, and texture. Another important step is deciding how to run the production itself. Some factories use what's called the batch process, making one batch at a time in large kettles, which allows flexibility for different types of soap. Others use a continuous process, where soap ingredients are fed into machines nonstop for fast, large-scale production. This careful planning and preparation ensures that when the soap making starts, everything flows smoothly and efficiently. It's where the factory sets the stage for the next step. Now, this is the chemical process that turns oils or fats into soap. 
When oils are mixed with an alkali, like sodium hydroxide for solid bars or potassium hydroxide for liquid soaps, they react together and create soap and glycerin. Factories typically use two methods to make this happen. The traditional kettle method works in large tanks where everything is heated and stirred carefully. It's slower but gives more control when making special kinds of soap. Then there's the continuous process, which is faster and perfect for large-scale production. In this system, oils and alkali flow through tall columns where the reaction happens as they move along. During this reaction, glycerin naturally forms as a byproduct. It's a valuable substance on its own, used in things like skincare products, so factories often separate it out later. The soap mixture itself goes through tests along the way to make sure it reaches the right consistency and that all the oils have reacted fully. By the end of this step, what started as a mix of raw ingredients has now turned into a raw soap paste, ready for refining, shaping, and turning into something that's ready to use. Now the raw soap paste that comes out of this process still needs a lot of work to become the smooth, clean bar we're all used to. This is where refining comes in, and it's a key part of factory soap making. First, the soap is passed through refining machines like rollers or mills. These machines break it down, squeeze out excess moisture, and remove any trapped air. This process ensures the soap is smooth, even, and has the perfect texture when it's finished. Next comes the stage where factories add extra ingredients to improve the soap's quality. This is when things like fragrance oils, moisturizing agents like glycerin or shea butter, colorants, or even exfoliants like ground oats, are carefully blended into the soap base. The mixing has to be thorough so every bar will look and feel exactly the same. Throughout this process, everything is monitored carefully, temperature, consistency, and the way the ingredients blend, because even small mistakes can affect how the soap performs. The goal is to create a soap paste that is uniform, smooth, and ready for shaping into bars. From here, the soap is almost ready to take shape and get that final factory polish before heading out into the world. The shaping and cutting happen through a series of machines designed to shape the soap quickly and consistently. For bar soap, the paste is pushed through an extruder, a machine that squeezes the soap into long, solid logs. These logs are then cut into blocks at just the right size. It's an efficient process that ensures every bar is uniform and matches the factory's exact standards. Once the bars are cut, they go through stamping machines. These machines press the factory's logo or design into each soap bar, giving it that polished, branded look you see on store shelves. The step doesn't just add style, it's part of making sure every bar looks high quality and feels good in your hand. For liquid soap, shaping works a little differently. Instead of cutting, the liquid soap is prepared for bottling at this stage, with careful control over its thickness and smoothness so it pours and lathers just right. In both cases, the shaping process is key to turning raw soap into something that's finished, consistent, and ready for packaging. Packaging isn't just about wrapping a product. It protects the soap, keeps it clean, and makes it attractive for customers when they see it on store shelves. For bar soaps, machines quickly wrap each bar in materials like paper, cardboard boxes, or shrink wrap plastic. Some factories go the extra mile, packing bars into small cartons that protect them from moisture and help preserve their fragrance. The packaging process happens fast and with precision, making sure every bar looks just right and is sealed properly. Liquid soap packaging works a little differently. The soap is pumped into bottles through automated filling lines, with each bottle filled to the exact level needed. Then capping machines screw on the lids tightly to prevent leaks. After that, labelers apply the product label perfectly, ensuring it's straight, readable, and shows all the information customers need. Ingredients, instructions, and branding. Factories today are also paying more attention to packaging materials, with many moving towards eco-friendly options like recycled paper or less plastic. Every step is designed for speed, consistency, and hygiene, so the soap stays fresh and safe until the moment someone picks it up and uses it. And that's it. So what part of the process intrigued you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments section below as you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this one.